英語で Can you borrow me? と言ったことはありませんか僕の経験では多くの日本人の方は英語を話すときに Can you borrow me a pen? とか言うのですが実はイメージとかなり違いますって具体的にどういう意味ネイティブは実際に何て言うの皆さんこんにちはアーサーです今回の動画では1 Can you borrow me? は実際にどういう意味なのか2日本人はなぜこの間違いをするのか3ネイティブは実際に何と言うのを学びましょうよろしくお願いしますまずは初めての方にご挨拶したいと思います。Thanks so much for watching this video.I make these videos so that you can learn not just English but really native speakers sense.And if that's something you want to learn more of, please subscribe to this video channel. 以前からご覧になっている方は、Good to see you again.Thanks so much for watching. では早速本題に入りましょう。まずは、can you borrow me? は具体的にどういう意味でしょうか Well, borrow is 借りる。In Japanese, it's the word 借りる。And so if you say, can you borrow me? What the actual meaning of that is, 私を借りてもいいあさ、mm-hmm. 私を借りてくれ。Uh, not to, not to <laughs> And that's not the image, the message that you want to say, right? Well, okay, so can you borrow me means that. But what about if you put in a mokteki go, an object? What if you say, can you borrow me a pen? Well, in this case, what does that mean? Well, remember, borrow means kariru. And so what you're actually saying when you say, can you borrow me a pen? What you're saying is, Hoka no hito no pen o karite m o r a t t e mo i? Hey, Arthur,、mm-hmm. can you borrow me a pen? Yeah, sure. Hey, can I borrow a pen? Oof! <laughs> Alright, here you go.、Uh, so、And that's really different too, right? So, why is it that people make this mistake? I mean, borrow isn't a difficult word, and the grammar is pretty simple, right? Well, I think it has to do with the difference between Japanese and English. And I really felt this when I was learning Japanese. When I first started learning Japanese and I talked with my Japanese friends, they would say something like, Pen wo kashite? Pen wo kashite kureru? But when I would talk with foreigners who were studying Japanese and we talked in Japanese, they would say, A pen wo karite mo i? And I was wondering, why in Japanese do people, Japanese people normally say kashite kureru and foreigners normally say karite mo i? Well, I looked it up on high native. And what the person says here is, Kashite kureru っていうフレーズの方は感謝の気持ちがこもってるので使いやすいらしいですね。That's what that person said. But native English speakers don't really have that sense. You know, the Japanese phrase, Kashite kureru, if you translate it into English, is Can you lend me? Kasu is lend, right? But lend feels kind of formal, like an actual transaction, like a torihiki. Hey, Nachan, can you lend me some money? Mata, it's no jam. Please? No, more than me. But borrow just tends to be more casual. It's focusing on you, and so it's more casual, and so people use borrow more often. And this is why I think many Japanese people make this mistake. Because they hear native speakers saying borrow a lot more, but in their mind they want to say kashite kashite kureru, and kashite kureru no shugo ga you ni naru n desne, anata ni naru n desne. So you have the you and borrow comes together saying, could you borrow me or can you borrow me? So if that's the case, then what do native speakers actually say? Well, in the case of pen o kashite kureru in Japanese, you could translate it directly as can you lend me a pen? But that is a direct translation. Remember, 英語の本来の目的は日本語を英語に変換するのではなく、頭の中のイメージ、気持ち、情報、いわばメッセージを相手に伝えることです。And the kashite kureru has that 感謝の気持ち in it. It's more casual. It's more thankful. And that matches more to borrow. So I would say, The natural translation of pen o kashite kureru is Can I borrow a pen? Hey, Natan, can I have a pen? Sure, here you go. Oh, thank you. And can I have a baguette? Baguette? Yeah, France p a n Why do you need that?、Uh, you don't need to know. Do you have one? Okay, here you go. Oh, thank you. 
あ、I just wanted to know if you had one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, o f a l right, まとめに入りましょう。一、can you borrow me? Can you borrow me a pen? は、私のために借りてもらえるっていう意味になります。二、ペンを貸してくれるの直訳は、can you lend me a pen? になりますが、三、lend はちょっと堅苦しくて、取引っぽい言い方です。borrow の方はカジュアルなので、can I borrow a pen? の方が自然に聞こえます。Alright, 今回のレッスンではネイティブの感覚に基づいた英会話を学びました。お疲れ様です。でもやっぱりこういうネイティブの感覚を取得したい方が多いんですが、多くの方はいきなり外国人を対面するってなると、<笑>頭が真っ白になって言葉が出てこない。という問題に毎回なります。僕も以前に日本語を長年勉強したのに日本に行ったら頭がマッシュになったっていう辛い経験をしたことがありました。でも具体的にどうしたらその頭がマッシュになる問題を乗り越えられるんでしょうか、まあ、そのためには、まあ、今回の動画でシェアすると長くなるので無料ガイドにまとめてみました。その無料ガイドを学びたい方、ゲットしたい方はぜひ You can click up here Or you can click the link in the description box below. As always, enjoy your English adventures. See you next time. Bye. No, no, but that's fine. That's fine. Stop. No, you said no. Stop. No, no, I don't want to eat that. This is the problem.